Nmap, Nmap, Nmap. If you want to get into cybersecurity career, you have to master Nmap too. Let's imagine a situation. You and your manager. I need all the computers with ICMP enabled. Use Nmap. I need all the servers listening on port 22. Use Nmap. I need list of all the Linux servers running Apache. Use Nmap. So basically, Nmap is a must-have tool. But are you aware about the top most common Nmap commands? Stay with me till the end because we are going to cover most common Nmap commands that every security analyst needs to know. Subscribe my channel if you haven't done yet. Number one, basic network discovery. Imagine a situation, you are a security analyst and you have been asked to manage list of all the active hosts in the network and keep it in the inventory. All right, so the command is this, Nmap, then you can simply uh, enter the network. 10.0.2.0 let's say uh, let's say we say slash 24 for the entire network okay so this is the one command and now you can see the output okay once you hit enter you will get the output where you see all the systems which are live okay now this sometimes takes time right because uh, it, it performs the scanning of individual system as well you can see uh, it has done scanning for all the individual system and perform the service and port scanning as well. If you want to save your time, you can also disable the scanning by using minus SN. Okay, so this will not this will ensure that your Nmap will not do the port scanning. Hit enter and it should be faster. Perfect. Can you see this? You got the report and it's pretty short and you get the idea that these are the only device which are live at this moment. So this is the way you do the network discovery. Number two, port scanning. Imagine a situation, you suspect that a web server in your network has got unwanted ports open and this might be vulnerable to attack. And so to do the port scanning, the command is very simple. You type and map and then minus P, then you can even have one more dash. So what ex exactly it's gonna do is it will scan for all the port from from everything, I mean, from 1 to 65, 535, everything, the standard and non-standard, everything. So then you can specify the IP address and hit enter and um, it will, it's going to scan everything. So remember, it will take time. All right. So you can see the port scanning is done and you can see this host is having almost all the standard ports open. So this seems to be very, very vulnerable. Okay. You can see all these ports are open. So you can start performing the penetration testing if you require right but we also have one more thing to do right so uh, we can also be very specific about a specific port okay so minus p let's say i want to just see the ssh port so i'll just type minus p 22 and 10.0.2.12 hit enter it's gonna be quick you can see it's it is really quick okay the port 22 is open ssh by default it is going to use the sin scan okay and um, perfect Number three, service version detection. Let's imagine a situation. Now you want to verify or identify the version of the software running on a web server. And this is important to verify if they are up to date. All right, so the command is this, nmap minus sv service version, that's scan version, and then you specify the target name, uh, target IP address, okay? So that's 10.0.2.12 and hit enter and uh, this will give you a list of everything okay so this seems the system is down so what you can do is uh you first need to make sure that your device is up okay so i'll turn up the device quickly yes now you should not see the same error okay and let me move myself to the right here all right and let's wait for the response all right perfect can you see this you can see all the version, you can see all the, sorry, not the version, but all the software version of every packages installed in the target machine. You can see we have uh, FTP version mentioned, we have open SSH software installed, and this is the version of the software. You can see we have mine, this is the software version, we have Apache on the system, we have, this is the version of it. You can do anything you want. If you are an ethical hacker or a penetration tester, you can copy this version, go to Google search with this version and then type exploit for this, you will get it, okay? You will get Metasploit, Meta, Metasploit a framework uh, exploit as well. Now, this is very important as a SOC analyst or security analyst because this will reveal the software version uh, uh, running on the uh, running on the target machine, and you uh, this will help you to understand if there are any uh, severe or significant uh, vulnerabilities. Okay. Number four is operating system detection. Now, let's imagine a situation. You are a security analyst, and for security compliance purpose, you want to verify, you want to detect the operating system of all the servers or the computers 
in your network. And so to detect the operating system of the target machine, we'll use this command, nmap minus O, capital O, and then the target IP address. Hit enter, and it's gonna be quick. You can see we got the operating system. Uh, we also got the, the everything running on it, okay? We also got the, uh, the open ports. But where is the operating system? It's going to be at the bottom. You can see device type is general purpose and running Linux 2.6.x. This is the CPE. This is the kernel version as well. All right. So this helps you to get the operating system of all the computers, uh, desktop of your organization. So this is helpful to manage the inventory of what systems are vulnerable and what are not. Number five is aggressive scan. Now let's imagine you, you suspect that a specific host or a specific computer has been compromised and you need a comprehensive scan to understand its security posture. All right, so aggressive scan. This is the aggressive scan. This helps you, helps you to get more information about the target machine. Uh, all, it covers almost everything, but the command is simple, okay? Uh, the command is nmap, nmap minus A stand for aggressive and then enter the target machine. So IP address hit enter and uh, all right so the beauty of this command was you get everything you perform the version check you perform the operating system check you uh, you also get to know about what all the applications running on the system and it also covers the advanced vulnerability scanning by using the nmap scripting engine so you don't even have to think about what a scripting engine or advanced technique should i use it covers everything but don't worry, we'll be going into the specific scripts in the later section. But for now, you can understand if you want to get insights, all the possible vulnerability, uh, at least possible by Nmap, you can you can use the aggressive scan minus A. It's going to take time if you do it for the entire network. But if you have one system to scan, this is the best command you should go for. Number six is Nmap scripting engine. Now you want to automate the entire scan process to detect maybe a vulnerability into the system or maybe any kind of a brute force attack testing as well. This is all can be done in this specific command. All right, so let's imagine you want to automate a scan to detect uh, vulnerabilities on any specific web server. Okay, so let's use the scripting engine, nmap scripting engine. So this is basically a script which is used for the uh, automa uh, used for the automation of multiple advanced uh, vulnerability uh, scanning, like uh, HTTP web application scanning. Okay, so the command is nmap minus uh, on the uh, let's say we want to scan up. Uh, web server so we'll enter on port 80 HTTP and then we'll use the minus minus script hyphen hyphen script uh, and the name of the script uh, let's say we want to do the brute force scanning not really brute force DNS brute force to discover the or to detect the subdomain so we can do the DNS uh, dot brute dot NSE this is the name of the script and then you can enter the target so you can enter any target for the testing purpose so let's say we'll use Twitter uh, remember, this is just for scanning. We are just doing the, uh, we are just discovering the subdomain. There's no, uh, you know, uh, there's no impact on to the system. Usually that happen. You can do it on the test network as well. Like um, we can even do the only one hub. Uh, let's see if this works and you can hit enter. If, if the subdomains are present and if they fall under the, uh, the dictionary present in the script, you should see the subdomain. Yes. You can see downloads dot one hub and this dot and their corresponding IP addresses as well. So this is this is how the script really works. We can even try some advanced as well. And uh, let's do this. Um, we can even perform the HTTP enumeration on port 80. Uh, let's use this script HTTP hyphen in them. And then let's use a sample website, which is one hub. Com. We can use the exact same website as well, but this is just for testing. And this script will perform the HTTP enumeration and we don't have anything on it, okay? Uh, but if we do it on our target system, let's see what we get. If the target is running, oh, wow, we got something. You can see the possible information file, this, this is the test page, this is the tiki wiki, uh, potentially interesting directory, perform the entire enumeration of a uh, web server and this is what we got all right so interesting so this this is very helpful because with the uh, scripting engine we can do quite a lot of stuff there are multiple other uh, scripting uh, engines available scripts available as well i'll mention a list of all of them uh, in the description below do watch it number seven is output format 
Now let's imagine you want to generate a report, a scanning report to show it with the other team member. With Nmap, you can generate a report in XML format for further analysis or maybe to integrate with any other tools. Okay, so once we have done the scanning, we want to save the report in a file so that we can share that file file with uh, any third party tools as well. So we can use Nmap minus small o x output and the name of the file. So maybe report one two dot XML. This would be the format and uh, the target IP address. And scan is complete. Let's search for the file. Ls minus. Let's do the al and uh, yep yeah, one two okay let's open the file report 12 perfect you can see the entire output in xml fo format now you can share this with any third party tool uh, and uh, you, know, you can play with it number eight is firewall evasion now this kind of a technique only works in the legacy firewall now but this can be used to test the effectiveness while scanning all right so to be very honest firewall uh, firewall evasion technique is not that effective as i just said at, at least at this moment of time because we are living in the world of next generation firewalls so but still it is very very good to it's very important to know about this because you might come across a situation where we have no firewall at all or maybe we have a legacy firewall in some small organization so that's where it is important to know know about this command so that you can test and report it to your manager or maybe the lead okay so what we are going to do is we are going to actually fake our ip address because usually the firewall rules are created by uh, source ip address and destination IP address which are known okay so by default the trusted IP addresses are allowed so what we are going to do is we can you know we can either fake our change our source IP address we can spoof our source IP address or we can have a random IP address we can play with any random IP address and try and test if that works okay so I'll show you the random one you can try the specific IP address and it's going to be very easy trust me and map what you need to do is you, you will create a decoy so deco, a decoy so you will type minus D and R and D, which is a random IP address. So you'll say, I need random three random IP address as a source IP address, okay? So you'll type that and you will enter the 10.0.2.12, the destination IP address. And um, to verify uh, the backend, I'll also open the Wireshark as well. And uh, we'll see uh, Wireshark running in the backend so that, okay, I'll, I'll okay. Let's hit enter and let's see what happened. Perfect, 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 and done. Okay, so Wireshark also started. You can see we have done this scanning. Scanning was done, but in the back end, you can observe there have been multiple IP addresses which have been targeting the same destination IP address. You can see this. These are these were all the random IP addresses. Okay, and even if I try the verbose, uh, you know, which we will discuss later on as well, you can see this. Uh, you know, verbose give you the detailed information about what all happening. Although you don't see those information here, but yes, this this worked. Uh, you can see uh, in the in the Wireshark, these were all not not this one. These were the all decoy uh, randomly generated IP addresses or any random IP addresses IP addresses which is being used to target the machine. Okay, so this is the one technique which has been used. There's one more for uh, by using fragmented packet as well which is normally used to cause a problem uh, for some legacy firewall, okay? So I'll show you the command, it might not work. So I'll just give you the example, minus F, minus P, 20, port 22, 10.0.2.12, okay? And yeah, so it just give you the output, but usually it's, uh, it's also send the output in the fragmented format. So in some of the cases it works, but you can see the port is open. So it, it is not giving you a lot of information, but it is what to note it, okay? Number nine is UDP port scanning. One of the widely used UDP protocol is DNS. Attacker use DNS protocol or UDP related protocol to execute their advanced threats. As a security analyst, you might have to scan for all the open ports, all the open UDP ports in the network to identify any vulnerabilities. All right, so let's do the UDP port scan. Now, UDP port scanning command is very easy. I'll show you, minus S U and um, scan me. I'll use the target scanme.nmap.org. Uh, but I hit, I just hit enter, but, uh, I won't show you the output. I want you to show me the output because of two reasons. First, it's going to take a lot of time. Second, uh, I want to see, uh, what possibility of output you can get it. You can try any destination. Okay. You can see every time you hit enter, you see different response. Okay. So share me in the description, your output, and, um, I want to check that out. Okay. So I'll leave it up to you. I love to see your response.
Number 10 is timing and performance. Now imagine you have a limited window to complete your scan and you need a balanced scan speed and thoroughness. All right, so you might have observed that Nmap scanning is slow, okay? Uh, it's slower if you if you go for a large network if you if you're scanning a lot of devices in a network so the solution is you can tune the timing okay you can adjust the speed uh, of aggressiveness okay so what you can do is let's say we have the entire network to scan okay so let's say I want to scan the entire network 10.0.2.0/24 .0 okay uh, I can simply use minus t4 and accordingly it can range from 0 to 5 and accordingly you can adjust the timing so when i hit enter i i actually compromise a little in terms of aggressiveness but i get the output faster all right so you can see we got the output so trust me uh, try this with multiple network in your environment as well and you will see the difference let me know if you have any question i would love to answer that thank you so much for watching